Farm Sim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. We are back on Bally Spring again, and I make no apologies for it because I'm having so much fun on this map at the moment. Now, it got me thinking when I was uh, thinking about going down to the other farm and checking the animals that I need some hay to create our uh, TMR later in the year when they need some more food. Um, so the last two fields that we're just about to drive past here, rather than mow them for grass, I'm going to mow them turn them, get them tethered, and uh, then pick them up as hay. And then that gives us a complete um, mix for our TMR that we can uh, then use with the cares. Can't believe I forgot that. So, what we'll do, we actually have got a little demo baler from a modder who's happily sent us to it for a bit of testing. Uh, thank you, Bark Thought. So we've got a little round baler that doesn't have the bale wrap and tip on it so we'll give that a go as well we'll go and pick up that up from the dealers in a little while but first and foremost we need to go and get the mower and the tw and bring them up to these fields up at the top so we'll do that if we ever get through this uh, traffic jam and uh, we'll be back right here we are i'll just pop the land over here out of the way we're not going to uh, disturb anything if we're uh, by the combine there, we're not needing that for the next wee while. And I forgot we've already got this hooked up to the spreader, but that's fine. We'll just ditch that. There we go. Right. The mower is up at the top farm. Now, we have got that little crone round baler there. If this McHale, new McHale baler uh, works, we'll definitely be trading that one in and treating ourselves to the new McHale. But we'll give it a go first, and make sure it suits our needs, and we'll take things from there. Right, we'll see you back at the other farm. Right, back again, between the two farms. I wonder how much fuel we burn Go between the farms each time. There's the mower at the back there. Just drop in and grab that. It shouldn't take us long at all to cut these two fields. They're not huge fields. But they might turn out to uh, have quite a lot of grass on them. We shall see. Let's get this folded as well. Help us through the lanes. Now, somebody did put in the comments uh, this week um, that it was a mulcher, not a mower. There is a mower setting for this, and it is a f it's a... It maybe isn't 100% accurate in terms of it being a, a flail mower rather than a disc mower, so it's chopping the grass rather than cutting it, but um, unfortunately, uh, reality means that <laughs> FS doesn't recognise the difference. A mower's a mower, full stop. Um, it won't affect the yield or do anything like that, so uh, for me, it suits my gameplay style. I hate those offset mowers, they just... They just annoy me. So uh, this is a this is a nice compromise. I'll make do with it. First of all, there's this teeny tiny field here with the uh, tree in the middle of it. Or we can go through to field eight, which is our big field, and uh, or bigger field, and do that one. What we'll do? I think we'll do this one second. It's going to take. I think we'll have to do this one manually as well. So what we'll do, we'll set this off in field 8, we'll get it uh, doing its thing, and then we'll uh, go and get the tether. It should run nicely on the 7610. Alright, Ron Folding, we're going to take a chance, throw this onto course plate, while we're going to get the 7610, and uh, hopefully, I know we had a few issues with this TW, I'm not sure if it's the weight on the front or... There's something to do with the way it uh, recognises edges, but uh, there was something that was a little bit uh, off with this. It was getting it stuck on fences, but we'll give it a go, see how we get on. Right, the first difficult headland, and it looks like it's done it perfectly. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. It's left quite a border here. Interestingly, hugged the hedge incredibly close here. Almost too close, so... Um, but it seemed to get round with no problems, so I'm not going to complain in any way, shape or form. And I'm going to go and get the tether straight away. 
Right, we'll grab a little 7610 for this. Because the tether does not use hardly any power. I think it is tucked in the corner here. Yes, it is. A little pot and Joe on. We'll hook this up. And I think this should do us nicely. We'll obviously have to wait a little bit for the mower to get around. But uh, once he's done, we should get around this in no time at all. And then straight in with the wind rower. And then with the baler. Might even get the chance to pick these up. Now, the reason I'm doing this quickly jump over and look at the weather it is as of tomorrow we have got some classic Irish weather coming in look September all of October and the first week in November or the first half of November it's going to rain a lot so we need to get this done and dusted as soon as we can today it's 2 30 in the afternoon so we've got a little bit of a race on our hands to get this off the field and under cover before uh, the heavens open. Alright, like I said, there's not much we can do until the mower's finished, so we'll kick back, we'll put the radio on, and uh, we'll watch him work. Right, there he is, just finishing. Fantastic job. And we've just run the initial row here just to make sure everything was working with the tether. So we'll jump straight in and get this done. And we'll move him out of the way just so he's not causing any issues. And we'll, um, yeah, we'll get stuck into the tedding, which shouldn't take too long. It does run at quite a fast speed. So um, we'll be running a little bit quicker than the mower was. But we need to get this guy over into this next field as well. Right, our tether looks like he's running well, so we're going to leave him to it. There's nothing we can do in that. We can't get in really windrow that until he's finished, so let's go and mow this little field here, which I'm going to do by hand because there's a tree in the middle of it, and it's very tight, so I'm going to have to uh, uh, have a go at this and see how well we get on. Right, there we go, last tiny little bit here. That was uh, not too bad actually. I do think though maybe we'll pull that tree out at some point because it does make it uh, a little bit awkward. It's got those little straggly bits that I've just missed. Keep the OCD happy, but that's not a bad little uh, chop of that field. So we are done with the mowing now. I think what we'll do, we'll probably take a smaller tractor now. Probably the 7810 with the windrower on, because I think the tether is just about finished in there, so we can go and get him 
Maybe throw him into here, see how he handles that tree. I wonder if it's classed as an island. We'll do a little test. If not, we'll run it by hand again. And uh, once he's done, while the windrow is going in the other field, we can go and get the baler from the dealership sitting down there. Like I said at the moment, it's just a demo. If we like it, we can buy it and trade in our crone. Right, we have unhitched it, but we'll leave those two together. We've got one more field to do, actually, after this one. Whether or not we'll be able to get around to it before the rains arrive, I don't know. Right, windrower. There it is. We'll get this hooked up. We'll get over there. We'll run this in tandem with the uh, tedder. I think we'll drive the tedder in the small field again. That small field definitely needs a little bit of babysitting. So we'll do that. And then we're in a good spot. Right, as we've done every time we've gone in here, this little bit of the gate, I cut into this before it was really in the field. So if I do this like this, it means we won't, we won't miss it. There we go. Right, we are off and running. Looks like quite a big swath from that. Now, will we sneak past the edge? We will just. Right. Good. Okay. Another job running well. Let's get this guy into the other field and get that turned as well. There we go. Another job well done. That tree is a pain. It is a pain, but uh, it's going to take too long to take out at the moment. It's definitely a job, maybe for the winter or when it's raining. But both fields tedded. Looks like the windrow is doing a great job as well. So I think we'll run down with this tractor and go and pick up our new baler. There's a bit of a trek to the shop. We've got to go past our other farm. There she is. And I think we do a right at the end of the road here. And then a left. And we should be there. So, we'll push on. Won't be too long. We'll check out this baler. Here we are. Wreaking havoc in the town. I should probably put my flashers on. From a security safety perspective. The dealership, I believe, is just along here on the right. Oh. Somebody pulling up outside their house there? Nope, they're off. Here we are, I think. This is the entrance. Let the telehandle passed. There we go, and there it is. Already out, ready for us to have a look at. Let's have a look at this now. I want to be very clear in this vid. This is a demo that's been given to us by Mark Thor, who is uh, converting the mod. Will it be released? Short answer is, we don't know. If we get permission from the original modder, yes. If we don't, no, it won't. So, hopefully that clears up any questions that I might get in the comments. As you can see, there's a few things still to work on here. The uh, PTO looks a little bit uh, wonky there underneath, but... Uh, that might fix itself when we connect everything up. But uh, this looks nice, doesn't it? Nice little compact baler. Very nice indeed. Okay. Let's get it hooked up. Let's get it up to the farm. Let's give it a run. And like I said, if it's something we uh, we really like, we might be trading our little chrome baler in and uh, investing in this. Right, I'm going for 150 centimetre bales. Not 185s, because they can sometimes be a little bit awkward and... 
125s are just that little bit too small. But we'll uh, just run this. We've got automatic drop turned on too. Let's just see how uh, see how many bales we can get out of these two fields. Right, while the bale is in the other field, I thought we would maybe just whip around here. It's, it is impossible to do this field, I think, with any sort of automation. Uh, the field edges are a little bit uh, out as well, so uh, you end up driving into walls and stuff. So we'll just drive this. It should only take a couple of minutes. We'll do this whilst the bale is running. Right, last little pass, last bale, probably in this field here, just about to be ejected. There we go. And then we will uh, roll into the next field. Just grab those. And uh, then we'll be... Well, I was going to say then we'll be done. We've still got to get them off the field before it rains, but... Uh, we've got a nice batch of hay bales here. Not too bad at all. Right, let's jump into the other field quick, get that done. And then we'll have a quick chat. Right, last pass, here we go. Can we squeeze a full bale out of this or not? It would be nice if we could. Um, verdict on the baler, needs a bit of work still. There's a few little things I've spotted which I'll feed back, but um, overall I like the size of it, I like the compactness of it. Uh, it runs pretty well. So, uh, yeah, all in all the good start. Well, no, we haven't. 70% of a bale. There's a few little stragglers there, but not enough to fill a full bale, so we'll maybe just have to leave this one in the chamber and hopefully not gonna go bad whoops so we are done we've got a lot of bales to pick up but I think we're gonna call it there for this episode we've got a lot done today I'm pretty pleased with that and we've still got time on our hands we've still gonna get them off the field before it goes uh, goes wet but for now I'm pretty happy with that so from me for now Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this still. And uh, I will see you all again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.